Hey there, kitty boos. Gwenny, you gonna come help me with some more flowers or are you gonna stay inside? Okay. So this morning I have been picking dandelions. Now, at our yard, we sat, well, we do have some real true dandelions, and I have two in here, um, but most of our dandelions are the false dandelion or Texas dandelion. If you notice, the Texas dandelion have the black stamens in here, in the middle of the flower, whereas regular dandelion, real true dandelion, does not it's just yellow puff and even the stamens are yellow but from what I've read online um, the Texas dandelion or false dandelion is just as effective we also grew um, like I intentionally planted dandelion seeds in the garden this is a dandelion here that Malachi and I planted some seed or at least that's the area where we planted seed I think it was supposed to be um, an Italian variety and honestly, it looks pretty much like our Texas dandelion. So I don't know if it's just te Texas dandelion seed that happened to get in that same place, or if it is in fact the plant that, or the seeds that we planted. Um, but either way, we've been thoroughly enjoying it. And we also let our yard go a little bit taller than um, usually is acceptable. And I specifically do this to be able to uh, pick grass for the rabbits and then also to have some flowers both to use for myself to make a salve or a cream, um, also for dandelion capers, which I'll show you that in a minute, and then um, to give nectar and pollen to the honeybees. Now, this is pretty much as tall as I like to let it go because at this point it starts getting to be almost to the danger point for us and the kiddos most especially for the kiddos we have had a copperhead um, out here within the last year so once it gets taller than this it becomes too dangerous to um, let it grow where the kids are playing because we wouldn't be able to see the copperheads very well so that's part of why I came out and started collecting the dandelion blooms because we're going to be mowing. We also like to let the different clovers grow um, because bees like that as well. So um, if I can find the link, I believe it's a traditional medicinals um, website or, or article on their blog. And that's the cream that I intend on making. So I will be using these flowers to put in oil to make an oil infusion that'll take about four to six weeks because I prefer to do the slow method rather than the um, fast method over low heat and then I will be making a salve and or cream hopefully this will be enough to make multiple batches so um, I was thinking about putting plantain leaves in there with it but I decided it'd be best just to keep it separate that way I can add the dandelion infused oil into whatever recipes I want to make for uh, balms or creams. Hey, Greenie. Slide. Woo! Good job, baby girl. One other thing I wanted to mention as far as the reason I let the yard get so weedy is the dandelion leaves are actually um, good to eat. So I will pick those sometimes and put them in salads. I just happened to come across this right now as I was talking to you. Here is the Texas dandelion. Again, you can see it's got the black stamens. Here is a regular dandelion. Now I did leave at least two regular dandelions over by the car um, because I want them to go to seed because I really want more of the Texas, or sorry, the regular common dandelion in our yard. How many people say that, right? And we will compare the size, and as you see, the Texas dandelion flower gets a lot bigger. But we'll pick both of these, right, Gwenny? And we'll put them in our basket. We'll let these dry at least for a day, maybe two or three days, and then we'll put them in oil. Um, as the article on that blog states, you could use olive oil. Um, I would assume you could even use avocado oil. I tend to use avocado oil because it doesn't get rancid as fast because we do get pretty warm here in Texas. Hey, Tiggy Boos! You enjoying your dust bath there, sweetie girl? 
and then I will be um, letting it set for about four to six weeks like I mentioned. Also, I might do this one in um, grapeseed oil because the article was saying that grapeseed oil actually blends in better to the skin, like it absorbs faster into the skin. Oh, I found some more dandelions, so I may go ahead and pick a few more. Now, I realize that I'm taking away nectar and pollen from the bees this morning, but we do have other flowers blooming, and I have been leaving a few out there, so I'm not picking every single one. But dandelions are weeds, right? It'll come back really fast, and the bees will have their food again. Hope you have a blessed day. We'll see you again here at Cooker